On January 28, 1986, CNN watched the Challenger launch live on the air with its viewers. They and the other media outlets told you that the astronauts died in the explosion. But as always, there is an agenda behind every mainstream headline. Government had incentivized the different public schools to play the Challenger in their classrooms. So they rolled their TV sets out, they had all the children sit down and get ready to watch it. And 20% of the American public watched the Challenger event happen live. And within one hour, 80% of Americans had seen the Challenger tragedy happen. So just like with 9-11, they have everyone see this traumatic event and then we're all in unison that we're traumatized. The seven NASA astronauts supposedly killed in the 1986 Challenger disaster did not die in the explosion and are quietly living out their lives in the US, with many of them hiding in plain sight, using their same names and working at high levels in the same fields they worked in before the disaster, according to explosive evidence uncovered by investigators. We've located six out of seven of them. In the world of deception, it's really easy to say this person is that person. Let's start with former NASA astronaut Michael J. Smith with the same name as this retired professor from the University of Wisconsin-Madison. Uh, are you Michael Smith? Yeah. Professor at uh, university? Retired. Retired? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just stopped by because there's a room. Are you aware of that there's a rumor on the internet? That, that people are saying? Yeah, it's not me, obviously. I mean, anybody that looks at my background, looks where I was born, it's not me. I mean, it's interesting that the uh, Michael J. Smith that was the astronaut looks something like me when we mm -hmm. were younger, but really not, if you really look at facial recognition. You've never been a pilot, never been I mean, in the military? Nothing, nothing like that. Yeah. No. Next is former NASA astronaut Judith Resnick with an exact doppelganger working at Yale University. 37 years have passed and she hasn't even changed her name. Side by side, there's no denying it. So statistically speaking, the odds that almost everyone on the Challenger have exact lookalikes with exact names still existing is kind of laughable, honestly. Exact doppelgangers existing in the world with the same names, and when confronted, they get very nervous, and they, their stories begin to conflict, and they have the same mannerisms. You know, it doesn't take a lot to put it together, honestly. 